welcome to the next stage of advanced photo manipulations. Next week I will start making 3D tutorials and I will tell you everything you need to know in this video. A lot of you guys has been requesting these 3D tutorials on the channel. I have been able to convince my team that 3D is a part of photo manipulation and they said go for it. But they also told me that these videos need to do good on this channel. So make sure when we start making these 3D tutorials videos to support these videos so I can continue making more. And now let's talk about how 3D is important for your art. Being able to make 3D environments will make the process of creating the art easier and faster and the results will look more professional. What I mean by easier and faster is if you are an artist who makes his arts just by using the stock images, then you must know how hard it is to find the perfect or the fitting stock images for your ideas. Sometimes it will take days, sometimes it will take weeks, and at the end you will end up working with images that's not even perfect, let's say it's just close to what you want. And for example, let's say this scene that I'm working right now on Blender, as you can see in the video. If I was to make this scene using stock images, it would have took me like days just to find this architectures like these pillars but with blender it took me like two hours as maximum to make that scene in 3d and if you are asking like why not just use stock images of interior design of castles it's simply because i see it as cheating and unprofessional act from an artist if you are going to get everything ready in your image then what is your job as an artist like cut images and put them together um, AI can do that these days Photoshop can do that can cut images and put them together it's not that big of a deal that's being close of being a photographer because photographers use uh, two stock images or three as maximum just to make their images look uh, better but being an artist you're probably going to make huge environments uh, a lot of objects in your works and that's why you need to learn 3D to make these environments and these objects just like you want them to look like. And don't let the stock images control your ideas. And to give you another example, for me one of my biggest problems in making uh, artworks using stock images is the perspective. When I work on a scene that has buildings on it, my biggest problem I face is the perspective. I can't really match the perspectives of the buildings. Um, I'm not saying that you have to learn 3D to match the perspective because if you put a lot of works in your images, on your stack images, and you understand perspective, you will end up uh, making it work if you use like photo passion, for example. But for me, I didn't want to bother because working on perspective was a nightmare for me. This is one of the main reasons why I decided to learn Blender. And as you can see in the scene that you are watching right now, I can match the perspective of all of these things that all of all these objects that I make just by putting them in one line and match the angle of the camera and that's it. Now does learning 3D and master it mean that you don't need to use the stock images? Actually, you will still need the stock images to do, for example, let's say uh, the photo passion. And photo passion is matching the real elements with the 3D or the painting that you did. For example, if you paint a scene or you make it in 3D, if you do it as a painting, it will look like it's a painting. And if you do it as a 3D, it will look 3D-ish. So to give it that realistic look, you will have to merge the uh, real elements of the stock images with that scene that you made in painting or 3D to give it a concept art look and give it more realism. But that doesn't mean that you will spend days or months looking for these stock images because the scene is ready and the objects are placed in their, in their places. All you need to do is merge the textures of that stock image so it will not be as hard as looking for stock images to make the whole scene because the scene is already made. Is learning 3D enough to make professional concept arts and matte paintings? Unfortunately, it's not because you will need to learn photo passion, as I mentioned before, and digital painting. There will always be some things to fix or to add details in the scene that can't be added with the 3D software 
and you can only add it with photo passion or by painting it with a tablet. Let's talk about the 3D software. Which is the best 3D software to use? Now I'm not the best to tell you what is the best 3D software to use. For me, I use Blender. Actually, I think it's not about what 3D software that you use. I think it's more about the 3D artist. And trust me, I have seen artists that made amazing 3D artworks just by using SketchUp. So it's always about the artist first, then comes the tools. However, mentioning that, I believe there is 3D softwares that has advantage over the others. Like for example, ZBrush is better with the sculpting than Blender and 3D Coat is better with adding the details and Houdini is better with adding the effects like the explosions and this stuff. If you are still watching the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. But as I mentioned before, uh, the tutorials that we are going to make is about Blender. And the reason why I chose Blender, the first thing because it's free. But hold on, not because I say it's free, that means I was forced to work with it just because it's free. Trust me guys, Blender is amazing, especially the latest versions. Blender can do it all. You can sculpt, you can make objects, you can make animations, you can make movies and trust me this software is amazing. You can make crazy artworks with it. It's available for everyone and it can do all the work that you need as a concept artist and it works for weak computers. And I get that question a lot of people asking me what this software is able to do like Will it help me make uh, sci-fi uh, scenes or will it help me make medieval um, environments, trees, mountains, like um, buildings, etc. Here is an easy way to see what that software is able to make. Simply open your browser and go to the search tab and write artstation.com slash ch slash the name of the software that you want to see what's able to make like for example blender and it will take you to a page where you can see what artist has been able to make with these softwares and as you can see blender can make amazing artworks shout out to all of these artists and by the way i recommend visiting artstation on a daily basis because it gives you a push and and you can find a lot of inspiration right there so you can make artworks and you can get ideas and all of that Another question is, will it take a long time to learn Blender or any 3D software? Well, it depends on you. If you want to learn, then you can watch YouTube like every day to learn and that will speed up the process. I have been using Blender for one year uh, since now and this is the level that I have reached that you can see in the video. Uh, I did not by any course by the way i just learned from youtube all you can see right now is what i have learned from youtube and i recommend channels like cg cookie blender guru default cube blender secrets cg geek critical giants and of course add me as a new blender tutorials channel because i will start making them soon what i recommend to start with when you start learning blender is first thing the keyboard shortcuts because learning the keyboard shortcuts will speed up the learning process. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to start from the beginning and teach you guys about the shortcuts and all of that or start immediately with the advanced techniques and the tutorials. You let me guys know in the comments. If you guys watch big YouTube channels like Imad Awan or Max Asabin, you will find that even they are using Blender and 3D in their works. So yeah, like Max Asabin is one of the greatest, if not the greatest photo manipulation out there. And he still uses 3Ds and big painters too, like Loop, they all use the 3D because it's a important, it's a part of the photo manipulation and part of painting and art and all of that. Because I'm sure you have seen artworks from other artists like painters as an example that has complicated objects like for example they drew a whole city or a whole castle with a very detailed architectures 
and you think how they painted all of that well here's the news for you they don't paint it they make it in 3d and they just paint over it to make it look like it was painted next thing that you need to focus on is the character design and the architectural design because as you can see in my scene two things that i added as a stock image was the model and the statue if i was good as the character design i would have made I would have made my own model and my own statue because seriously if you are good at making your own character and your own environment then you got it all and so for that I now I am now learning about the character design the clothing design and more about the environment design and when I master all of these fields or these genres then I can teach you what I have learned in this channel one of the main things that we are going to focus on in our Blender tutorials is the geometry nodes, the modifiers, the moving and the scaling, the scaling, sorry, and the rotation, the UV unwrapping, the extrudings, the textures and how to import them, how to make your own textures, how to make your own height, your own normals. We also are going to learn about the remeshing and the multi resolutions, the sculpting and the alpha textures. Hopefully we are going to learn all of that and that's all I have for this video for Blender. I will leave you to the rest of this speed art. This is the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed the speed art and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channels and activate the notifications so you can get all of our tutorials in the future. And also check my latest video, I'll see you in the next videos, peace.